My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train. We're going to be going with the primary and allied clan, both randomized, going in Covenant 25. You know how it is. Welder Helper, two copies of, a Wildwood Sap, two copies of, and an Impeter Box. So I'm already looking at this and seeing a kind of, there's an imp build going on. Ooh. Deal two damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. That's really good in the early game. Like, that saves you so much hassle in the early game. And unless I find some expensive spells from the Awoken, there's not that many in Hellhorn. I guess, yeah, this is one I'm probably going to want to go for. I'll go for the one that actually scales. Unfortunately, this scales, but also jack strips make it a little worse, unless I set up on the bottom floor. Uh, Normal enemy units enter with spikes three. That's fine. All of them die when they get to the second floor. Hmm. 20 armor. Okay. I need the damage of the Hornbreaker Prince to scale somehow. Thank you, well to help up. Unfortunately, we had to give up the help there in order to get it. That is the collector we had to give up, unfortunately. Maybe I should have just set up on the second floor and hoped that the collector was going to spawn there and try and get one slay off the collector. Hmm. Ooh. I like the amount of welder helpers I have, to be entirely honest with you. I'm going to take a horn break, though. Uh, and a Steel Enhancer. Sure. Just two pretty valuable cards right there. Uh, yeah, let's look for a Hellhorn Frontliner at the start here. If we don't... Ooh, Multi-Strike. Multi-Strike on the Alpha Friend, though. That's, like... Yeah, I know we're turning down the Steel Worker, and I am uh, very not keen on doing that. But an alpha friend that has 50 health and multi-strike sitting in a front line, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to scale really, really well. Let's do the obvious one, right? Uh, let's go Welder Helper Torch. So we get one slay here. Input box on the uh, top floor is almost enough. Very, very close to enough. Sadly, not enough, though. So we get to take five damage. But yeah, having two restores, like a bunch of regen on an alpha friend that just sits out in the front. So good. Uh, recently buffed Ritual of Battle for extra rage. Yeah, I think that'll help them meet, meet the challenge that they need to meet. Same with the Razor Sharp Edge. Uh, meet the challenge that needs to meet earlier on. Uh, Animus Speed, Husk Hermit, Branded Warrior. Probably none of those. I don't really need to upgrade the Alpha Friend anymore, so I'll go over here for an Awoken unit. Enters with Rage 3 is pretty good, though. Wilting Sapwood. Do I want to put the Wilting Sapwood in front of my Hornbreaker Prince as its tank? I theorized about that in the uh, in the look through the patch notes I had as to whether or not that might be a good thing. Maybe it is. Melting Remnant. Endless to a friendly unit. That means I have the ability to bring back the Alpha Friend with all of its strike enhancements. Sure. Sure. 
just in case it ever gets overwhelmed. I mean, all the wilting sapwood. It could be a circumstance where I want to do it with the wilting sapwood instead. Constructed explosives explode twice. Fine. Right. Two. Uh, then. I don't need the endless out there yet, do I? Not really, right? Start scaling you. Yeah, I can't just waste 20 health there for 2 energy. Uh, let's keep your regen up. I think, yeah, we're just... Gosh, this is just the alpha friend run at this point. Not that that's a problem at all. Train steward and welder helper on the bottom line and keep the regen up on the alpha friend because Daedalus is not going to haste past the second floor. Loads of regen. L-O-D-S-E-R-E-G-N. What's that spell? Loads of regen, probably. Give him the absolute business. Yeah, the Alpha Friend is enough to do this by itself at this point. It scales, obviously, a lot uh, faster than it used to. Channel Song, Impolate, Spike. Spike in a Hellhorn seems reasonable. Uh, I would have gone for Thorned Hollow in front of the Alpha Friend previously. I don't think I will anymore, though. I need something that has the ability to kill fives in the back line. Fives and tens. So actually the husk hermit that I turned down earlier is, is suddenly looking really good. Uh, let's go for the draw because the wilting sapwood is going to be an engine for a lot of our energy. Or the engine rather for a lot of our energy. Uh, hmm. With the ability to dupe, I'm looking at that alpha friend and going, why don't I just get a second alpha friend right now? Set him up on a different floor. We're definitely not going to have room to put down the train stewards if we're putting down another alpha friend. Give you a multi-strike so that we have the ability to again project some damage to the back line. So having multi-strike on pretty much all of my characters at the moment is the way that I project my damage. I don't like that, but it is working. Uh, all of these enemies are going to die as they go up a floor. So I don't really have to care about them at all. Let's go. Alpha friend. Hornbreaker. Great. Pop down a train suit and get it killed. And then everyone else tries to leave the floor and just dies. <laughs> ah, sucks. We don't have the ability to get that collector, though. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, if we summon anything, it's dazed on that top floor, right? That probably should have been regen set up right there, right? Yeah. Almost certainly, in fact. I'm gonna make you endless at the moment, just in case. Uh, don't need any of those either. 
Never mind. Yeah, we're too far out of the power curve in the moment for it to really matter. Input box, battering ram, and march of shields. We don't really have the space to put down more imps. I'll take a march of shields. Should be pretty relevant. I'll even take a channel song now with the second in my deck, as well as the wilting sapwood. Channel song drawing any of those would be really good. Uh, let's cut two more cards from the deck. That you know, probably two more uh, two more train seals at this point, making the channel song significantly more likely to hit something good. It could still hit the welder helpers, but even that's kind of fine-ish. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. Do I want that? I do have those summons in the deck, but I I don't I don't think I want to get more at all. I'm gonna re-roll. I'm looking for Grug's goad here. Dang, didn't get it. Uh apply rooted to enemy units when anything into the room below. Apply a room. I <sighs> just don't like any of those options there. Okay. We'll go for the calcified there. That's going to be pretty good for getting off a giant spike. Uh, enemy in center with armor 15. Well, I'm still going to be taking one hit to kill each of these silent marksmen anyway, right? So as long as I also scale my... In fact, otherwise, I'll never be able to hit them because they'll take two damage to the jack strips. And if I can never hit them, then I can never scale. Uh, okay, so... Hornbreaker there, Wilting Sapwood here. We'll Hornbreak one of you. Great. Hornbreaker is already starting to scale. That's exactly what we want to see. So you come to the top floor and you have less than 60 health. Bop bop with the uh, the alpha friends. The overcharged tank in the back is going to have like still some health. I'm not going to like it, but it's just going to be the case. Nice. Super buffed alpha friend. You can go on the bottom floor and start hitting that overcharged tank. Actually, you're also very big. Why don't you get to? Why don't you get a little bit more on your stats there, bud? Ow! Regen, regen, restore, stack stats. All right, and now we're good. Yeah, we've grown enough at this point that no one can really do that much to us. Cool. So we got the bottom line down. Unfortunately, it didn't take many of your uh, your turns. However, Alpha Friend, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, you just spent all of yourself doing that, and now, yeah, you die. Oh, that Endless was a totally necessary addition to the deck right there. Tiresome Climb. I could use that to set up another Alpha Friend on the top floor. <sighs> I don't like using it for the Alpha Friend setups on the top floor, but I'll probably end up using it to set up... Uh, I'll probably end up using it to set up Slays, my own stuff. Not really more minion upgrades I can do at this point, so we'll go over this way. Gain seven on the first turn of battle can actually be pretty impactful if I draw both of my alpha friends. We saw in the last fight that uh, we can't play both of them in that case. Consume crown is nice, but we already scaled. Do we need to scale this much more? And is this that much more? We go for the improved firebox.
What if I just give Holdover and Magic Power to a Hornbreak so that I can kill Purifiers in the back line? I was thinking Holdover and double stack on the, the March of Shields, ideally. And we'll still go with that, I think. Alright, reroll. Remove Consume. Uh, I don't know if I want to remove Consume on any of these. Plus 20 magic power and consume though, that's pretty good. Pop it on a torch and I'm gonna reduce the cost of Ritual of Battle, I guess. <sighs> Otherwise it's just too hard for us to play. Right, conceal caverns. You've got a trap shoot and a steel pulley claw. Probably the trap shoot to be honest, right? Gives us the ability to use it to set up a really, really powerful bottom floor if we desperately want to. As well as cost zero and puts everyone back through the gauntlet of strike triggers. This one's going to be an easy one, I feel. So Channel Song can only draw Welder Helpers at this point. I'm fine, thanks. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to Pyre Chomper and then Transcend him. Cast that for 18. Hey, here's exactly when I uh, just send the Quill Marksman back down to the bottom of the field. Taking no damage from it, but... Throwing it back through the Thresher again. Uh, heal, heal, and you can get extra stats. We need more armor or something in this deck. Or maybe even just more capacity so I can play a Welder Helper on the same floor. Actually, maybe it is more capacity. Because then I can put the second, uh, the second Alpha Friend behind a Wilting Sapwood. Hmm. Got him! Goodbye, Fel. We've scaled well enough. Lost and dark deal. A lot of extra damage on him. Give me the capacity though. And now I get my calcified embers, so that's all of my energy, as well as the improved firebox. Perfect. I mean, I'd buff the Wilting Sapwood's health, but that's basically all I do over here, right? So might as well go for possibly a significantly better one. Well, do I? Because I can still use March of Shields to send the Wilting Sapwood to the front. It's just then this doesn't scale uh, super... Like, the, the Hornbreaker Prince has trouble scaling. So Sketches of Salvation is what I'm thinking about. Just putting everyone onto the middle floor, having both the Alpha Friends and the uh, the Wilting Sapwood. In Honestly, like, past this point, I would probably go to the Merchant of Steel and I would dupe another one of the, uh, the Alpha Friends. Honestly, like, the big reason that I haven't done this yet is because I don't know how I would keep them alive. We'll find a way. 
this necessitates the first two removals. Well, I mean, first two removals? I only have three minions in the deck at the moment. Sorry, four minions in the deck at the moment, right? So one of them might as well be a Welder Helper. Remove Consume from an Excavated Ember. Seems pretty good. Uh, let's also lower the cost of... Tyson Climb, then reroll. Actually, we'll plus magic power a torch and then reroll. Double stack. Double stack on March of Shields helps a lot here. Plus the Razor Sharp Edge and give plus 20, I guess, to a restore this time. Okay. Uh, non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. The thing is, the Gilded Wings are going to get, like, straight past the mid-floor if I do that. Got 10 health themselves. I think I still need the money to help me sort out how I make my units live when they go to the mid floor. Endless doesn't really make sense on any of these, actually. Probably pop it on myself on the top line here, actually. Actually, you know what? I will. Yeah, all stats with the top line there. That's going to give me the ability to kill the Gilded Wing. Unfortunately, the Shade Wings in the back line are going to be spell targets. Excuse me. Ooh, getting the Collector for an early Slay is very, very helpful here. Channel Song for nothing. Gonna start getting that regen off, or we're just gonna lose all of our stuff to the Shade Cloaks there. Mm -hmm. Heal two. Um. Hmm. It's fine. We can just ascend you. And then you'll ascend and die instantly the last shard. Whew! Yikes! It's getting real difficult to keep up! Uh, okay. Uh, well, Pyre Chomper is so, like, the, the, sorry, the Molting Imp is so good right here. Just destroys so many five healths. I can't believe this holds. There we go. Finally. Oof. Got the reorder. The end there. Uh. Okay. Let's. Hornbreaking that is so much effective damage though. But it's way more important the backline of dies. Okay. I'm just gonna keep you at the front of the pack. If I had the ability to descend the Hornbreaker at this point behind everyone after it builds up, that'd be strats again, I think. That would that would be back to strats. I'd probably end up using a Dark Deal to kill a Shade Wing here, to be honest. Alright. Yep, have to. You can be exceedingly healthy, but you're also going to be pretty dead. Yeah, that, uh, well, mm hmm. 
That Shade Wing in the back just being healthy the entire time is really rough. I'm actually going to have to move it forward. There we go. And then it dies. Got him. Whew. Uh... Impish Scholar, like, at this moment, just brings back Excavated Ember. Like, it's an energy pump for us, effectively. No! No, it's another minion! Ryan. Awake's pretty good as a big spell. I need to remove the, the imps now. Well, good thing I got the extra gold, so I can afford to remove these imps that I just put in the deck. <laughs> um... Probably none of those. We roll. Good excode me. No, range doesn't increase. I'm in front of the units as well as plus five armor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Melting sap with health. Multi strike? No. I mean, first things first. Let's get the... I mean, Welder well Helper actually gives health to the frontliner that is on that... Uh, wait, no, but I do need to remove the Welder Helper still. Right. Okay. Health stone. Large stone. Then we'll dupe... Maybe we dupe the healthy one, honestly. Higher chance of having it out for- No, the scaling is very important to actually have enough damage to deal with any of this, I think. Uh, we should purge more cards, though, I think, actually. Specifically just so that I get to my holdover March of Shields as early as possible. Alright, Seraph, you'll remove half of my buff and debuff stack effects. Fine. Good thing my character just grows. Oh, March of Shields on turn one! Thank you! Ch channel song on turn one. It's fine. Uh, let's go Hornbreaker Prince on the top line. I mean, I might as well start putting Regen on the Wilting Sapwood. The... March of Shields is going to start getting used on the top floor. Okay, let's go. Round and packed on the top floor. More regen. I'll blow that up for regen, I think. Ooh, I just love being able to kill the light wings like this. Hmm, that's gonna be a lot of Ember Drain that we're about to have happen to us. Don't love that. Never mind my energy, I guess. Unfortunately, that means the uh, March of Shields also isn't getting... No, it's fine. March of Shields is going to get played. I need to make sure that I still play the March of Shields so that I get it back in hand so that I can still just generate more and more health, you know? Uh, regen, restore. Yeah, March of Shields is fine still here. 74. So you grow by 20 when you kill an enemy, right? Hang on. That would be 33, 33. No, okay, I can't do that. Not far off, though. Actually, it's still a good idea. Yeah, because then your days as you go up to the top. Okay, another awake for our frontliner. Drop out another March of Shields on the top, though, and yeah, just horn break the back line. This is feeling a lot like it's grown enough. Like, we did it. Like, that's... 
Don't count my chickens. Don't count your chickens, Raps. Just cool down. I know you really, really, really want to figure out how many chickens you got, but cool it. Cool it. You'll have more chickens if you don't count. Okay, that's not how that works, but <laughs> I need to give myself an incentive. I can't call this one early, but it's feeling a lot like I should have called it early, you know? Um, honestly? I kind of want to, like, ascend the Seraph. Because then I don't have to fight through another Gilded Wing and Light Wing. Uh-huh. And then, also on top of that, I get to kill the Seraph. Extremely large men. Thank you, friends. That was a run that utilized units that I haven't utilized in a very long time because I used them, you know, way back when uh, and just didn't find them be to be particularly valuable. Didn't uh, didn't find that they contributed enough to the run. And now that the Wilting Sapwood had 10 extra damage on it, it gave me the ability to use it again and I found a role in which I liked it. I don't think it, like, became better, necessarily. Uh, or, or rather that much better that it was not going to be otherwise viable in this run. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think it just re-incentivized me to try it again and find the position in which it worked. Uh, and then secondarily, obviously, the Alpha Friends now scaling with five per strike rather than three per strike is monumental for that run. That is almost double the scaling on them. You can enable this card frame in the logbook. And I uh, also finally gilded my Wilting Sapwood. Getting that win streak back to one. And wait, did we not get a new crown? Uh, I don't think we got a new crown there. So that was one of the, the clan combinations I've already done. Dang it. For the moment, my name is from Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Monster Train. I'm going to hold on the run summary screen here as I say thank you for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, so there's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future. Uh, if you'd like to find uh, updates on the channel, I usually post things on the community tab or over on Discord. Uh, sometimes both, if they're important enough. Uh, and the Discord is also linked in the description down below. It's full of lovely people. It's a good time to hang out in. If, uh, if you want to, click the link. It's a nice time. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.